Hey, it's Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution back again with another series on great products for live production. Today we're gonna to focus on this little camera here from PTZ Cam. It is a small form factor camera, which is kind of a, a two-in-one camera in that it does 4K HDMI, so you can do region of interest or 4K production with it, and it's got 1080p60 USB output on it. So a lot of versatile uses for this. It's very flat. Um, CS mount lenses, so there's a lot of options in terms of what you can do with the lenses. Internal recording, USB power, 12 volt power, a lot of different options here. Let's take a closer look at it. So I've taken the lens off and right off the bat you can see the 1 over 2 thirds inch uh, Sony Exmor sensor on it. So it's got a nice, nice uh, sensor on it. On the side here we have 12 volt power uh, and a slot for a TF card for internal recording. On the back is the menu. Uh, this will let you step through the different modes that the unit has. Uh, it has uh, 4K P30, 1080 P60, and it even has a F120 um, frame per second mode, not uh, outputting, but uh, for internal recording. So you can do some slow motion with it. On the side, uh, here is the HDMI and USB ports, and these can be configured in one of several ways. Uh, you can power the camera off of USB connected to a computer via USB uh, 3, or you can do HDMI out and power the camera off of DC 12 volt, or you can do HDMI out and power the camera off of USB. So this will let you use something like a USB uh, battery pack. Uh, on the bottom is quarter 20, on the top is quarter 20. There is also a microphone if you want to pick up uh, ambient noise from this unit. So those are the uh, important features of the body. Uh, it also comes with a lens. This is a 4 to 12 millimeter um, CS mount lens. So it's uh, right out of the box. It's usable and pretty handy. So it's got a, a nice range on it. You don't need to run out and get a lens right off the bat. Uh, of course, being that it's CS mount, uh, you can actually use a lot of different uh, lenses that are available for wide or telephoto, but this will uh, this will get you going. So those are some of the specs. Let's take a look at what this looks like in vMix. All right, so here we are in vMix, and if we want uh, to add that camera, we can just go Add Input, Camera, and from that dropdown, we select USB Video Device because we have hooked it up via USB. And now it's in preview. So we can see that we have our USB camera brought in very quickly and easily. Uh, we can adjust all the things that we normally adjust with the lens, the zoom, the focus, the exposure. And if we were bringing this in via 4K, via HDMI, we would be able to do region of interest. And even though we're bringing it in by HD, uh, at HD resolution, I figure I'll just give you a quick refresher on what region of interest is in vMix. So if we were Plugging this into like a Yuan SC720, which is a four channel uh, 4K capture, HDMI capture card, we could hook up four of these cameras and each of these could have its own virtual input. So to give you an idea of region of interest, I'm just gonna create two virtual inputs. So I have my original here, which is the wide shot. And then I'm gonna go in and I am going to do a zoom on my headshot. And if we are working with the 4K source, then because we're producing at 1080, we would not actually pass that one-to-one. -one. Uh, we can see it's a little fuzzy here, but if this was 4K, it would not be fuzzy. So we can go in and zoom on another area. So we have our calculator shot, we have our head shot, we have our original wide shot, and that means that this camera can function both as a webcam, a 4K HDMI camera, it can be battery powered, it can record internally up to 120 FPS, you interchangeable lenses, a really nice sensor, all for an extremely agreeable price. And it's really important to note that this is an ideal camera for live production because it supports the frame rates and resolutions of live production, as opposed to something like a GoPro, which is great for if you're uh, skiing, but is 
terrible if you are actually trying to get broadcast frame rates out of it for doing a live production into a switcher like vMix or any other small form factor uh, common switcher. So great camera, have a look at it. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to follow up with us. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.